Hi, everyone. My name is Emily. My name is Megan. And today we'll be doing an interview to get to know each other as dietetic students currently at CSS. So, Emily, where are you from? I'm from the state of Washington in the Pacific Northwest, and I'm from a town called Vancouver, but a lot of people mistake it for Vancouver, Canada. Um, but the Vancouver I'm from is not as beautiful. Um, I still love it just because we're really close to fun cities like Portland in Oregon or Seattle in Washington. And yeah, I've always grown up here and this is where my family is. So I really, really enjoy my hometown. Okay, that sounds nice. And I'll ask you, Megan, where are you from? I am from a small town um, called Lake Wedowie. Well, it's Wedowie, but we are known for our lake. It is a small oh, okay. town I've resided here for my whole life, basically. And can I ask you, what is Alabama known for? Like maybe their state food or just a popular food? So I would say popular foods, anything barbecue, it doesn't matter the seasons, time of the year, everyone's go-to is barbecue food. Um, another thing that I did not think about is catfish. Everyone in Alabama loves catfish. So that is so oh, interesting. Very uh, popular here. Um, yeah, I've never tried catfish before and I've heard that barbecue is a big thing over in Alabama. So I'll have, if I ever go over there, I'll have to try some. I cannot believe you've never tried catfish. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It is so good. So good. <laughs> So what school do you attend? So I go to Logan University and it's in Missouri. So for uh, for this program, I've had to move from Washington to the Midwest and this is all very new to me. And what school do you go to? So currently I'm in a standalone dietetic internship called NutriCo, but I have just registered to start in the University of Alabama in the spring. But as of right now, I'm just in the standalone um, internship. And okay. so far, it's been very, it's been very good. Um, why did you choose the dietetics field? So I've always had an interest in nutrition and biology and then how those two overlap. And so I've realized that nutrition plays a really important role in our overall health. And um, particularly with the preventative part is what kind of um, led me to pursue dietetics, just seeing nutrition as a way to prevent chronic disease and trying to combat these diseases before they develop into like a full-blown thing. And then nutrition, I also saw as um, playing a role in each part of uh, treatment, so like prevention, treatment, and maintenance for a lot of uh, conditions. And then the other reason why I chose this field was just because I've seen a lot of negative effects of eating disorders, um, like with my friends. And it's, I feel like it's a topic that's kind of growing more. And um, unfortunately, there's still some stigma and like myths around eating disorders. And I really want to work on uh, you know, educating people about like the facts about eating disorders and dispelling those common myths or stigmas so that people can recover and get the help that they need. Oh, and yeah. um, and I'll ask you, why did you choose the dietetics field or what drew you to that? Um, so this wasn't something that I had planned all my life or for years out of my life. I actually made the decision to venture into the dietetics field after I finished my pre-nursing degree. I had once um, at the last semester realized that it, nursing uh, probably was not for me. So then mm -hmm. I started to look at my other options to um, see what else it was in the healthcare field that I wanted to pursue. And dietetics is one that came up because my family has a bad history of health problems and I wanted to I guess get an understanding as to why, what's causing it, can it be reversed or can it be prevented? And um, that's kind of what 
what's gotten me here. And so far, I, I love it. Um, and that's really just how I just found dietetics. It wasn't, like I said, it wasn't something that I had planned for years out of my life. It was just something I stumbled upon and I just kind of stayed here. And now that we know why you chose dietetics, um, what is your career goal? So I guess my short-term goal is to initially start in like a clinical setting just to grow my skill set and uh, get more comfortable with seeing all different sorts of conditions. And then long-term goal is to help people with eating disorders and just get them back to having a healthy relationship with their food, body, mind, so that they can live like a full life. And um, I'm thinking maybe, maybe like a residential or day treatment program uh, partial hospitalization program that would be really cool to work in just because they have like groups that they go to and there's a lot of opportunity for nutrition education um, long term and what is your career goal so to be quite honest um, I haven't exactly decided my career goal only because I thought the, my first thought was to get into the field and familiarize myself with the different avenues before I just, you know, just chose an actual, um, I guess, place to start. But I did mm -hmm. uh, become interested in eating disorders, just like you, Emily, because I have seen a relative firsthand suffer from eating disorders. And it did stand out to me because I did want to know, um, I guess, I guess the why and the hows. And I wanted to dig deeper because I feel like it does not get enough attention. And I think another thing besides the dietetics is that it's also a beautiful thing to go into that, meet these people that are struggling because they are in a dark place and help them come out of it and be a part of that transformation. So I think, yeah, it's, I mean, of course, it's dietetics, but it's also more to it and, and being a part of that. Mm -hmm. help others yeah I love the word that you use with transformation I think that is a great way to represent like what dietitians can do like help them in that trend um that process right my favorite food is this is always a difficult question but I would say sushi like any type of sushi love it just my go-to what is your favorite food Megan um, my favorite food, I love, well, I would say favorite foods and I can eat this all the mm -hmm. time. You can't chicken choose one. <laughs> chicken and broccoli. And I know it sounds so simple, but it has to be cooked a certain way. Um, mm -hmm. with broccoli, I, I put olive oil in it and maybe sea salt or something. And I just throw it in the oven and it comes Ooh, yeah. It's really, really delicious, I'm telling you. And some people, when they hear that, just like, they're just like, it's basic, but it's very delicious, along with the mm -hmm. chicken, because I I kind of steam the chicken, but I, mm -hmm. I cook it in the way that it doesn't lose, like, the flavors from the herbs in it. So mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just very delicious. And I eat it all the time, and I never get tired yeah. of it. I think that's the end of our questions. But, um, yeah, Megan, it was really great to get to know you a little bit more. So thank you so much for your time. Likewise, I really did enjoy this and getting to know you and everything and your background. So mm -hmm. thank you.